Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to take a look at using external tools for translating our game, since using the translation picker in Unreal Engine is not always the best option. So we are back in Unreal Engine. This time we are going to take a look at how can we translate using an external editor. We will use, for example, PO Edit to translate our words instead of the translation picker. We need to take a look at the project structure. You can see that in the content folder we have a localization folder which inside contains the localization targets. Inside those targets you can see that we can find both languages. If we choose ESES, so Spanish Spain, you can see that there is a dot archive and a dot logres. For now we don't see anything useful, but using the localization dashboard, we are going to be able to create a PO file. So we can export text, and if we select that folder, the target folder, so in our case localization game, you are going to see how Unreal will create PO files for us, so we can translate our game using an external tool. So right now those files will be already created. You can see that there is a game.po inside the es-es folder. If we open it up, you can see that po edit has guessed correctly that we are translating Spanish Spain. I chose po edit because it's quite easy to use and free. You also have a paid version, but you can do whatever you want. I'm not uh, um, sponsored by PO Edit, so I just use it because I find it easy to use. You can see that uh, it has properly detected the words in our translation. You can see that it says Spanish Spain because it knows that it is inside the ESES folder and it has that info. And now we can go ahead and start translating using, for example, the suggestions that PO Edit uh, has made. In our case, we are going to choose Juego en Pausa for Game Post. You can see that it may be better with a capital P. So I just made that change, but it could be fine the other way. I just think it is prettier that way. You can choose Restablecer Mapa for Reset Map. It's quite correct. Let's add the capital letter also. Next, we have the loading text. So we choose Cargando. That's quite OK. For Button Label, we chose Etiqueta del Botón. For Print Robot, we are going to change the translation because it is not quite correct in my opinion. So I'm going to choose Imprimir Robot. Etiqueta, so button label, you could also change because it looks like a placeholder. I have chosen jugar for play, reanudar for resume, maybe continuar is better, pulsar for press, and again, etiqueta de botón, the button label. As I mentioned before, this would probably be better uh, turned off because it is quite uh, quite clear that this is a placeholder, so it's not going to matter. We should have turned localization off in that string. Next, we chose saving as guardando. Menu principal, we are missing an accent, so I'm going to go ahead and input it. Next, quit is salir, and it's quite okay. Has encontrado un orbelila for you found a purple orb, and you found another purple orb. We are just going to reuse the translation real quick. And has encontrado otro orbe lila. And that's that. So we have translated everything. If we now save the PO file and go back to Unreal Engine, you are going to see that Right now we have changed the PO and if we tell Unreal Engine to import text, 
and select the folder with the target, you are going to see that Unreal Engine will read the contents of the PO file and once it has read them, it's going to go ahead and use them to complete our translation. You can see that we have 100% of the words translated and we are ready to compile. Remember that if we do not compile text, the engine is not going to know that the translation has changed. So we need to always remember to do that before testing anything. And with that, we are ready to test it using the standalone version, the plain editor with standalone executable. And you can see that we are starting it in Spanish Spain. You can see that it says Orbes, Imprimir Robot, Has Encontrado un Orbe Lila. So everything, the text, the pause menu, everything is going to be in Spanish. Continuar, menu principal, restablecer mapa, salir, juego en pausa. You can see that everything is in Spanish, cargando. If we now go ahead and you can see that also the menu was in Spanish. If we go back to English, you can see that everything is now in English. So that's it. Uh, mission accomplished. So as you can see, it is quite easy to use external PO editors to translate our game. This allows us to translate without Unreal Engine, for example, in a laptop, during our commute or in the train. So that's it for this video. I hope it has been useful to you. If this is the case, go ahead, like and subscribe. We'll see each other in the next videos.